In the last video, we looked at a population problem. Let's change some of the numbers and see what happens. So we start off at 120, and that's after one hour. And after five hours, we'll do 10 times more. We'll go to 1,200. And let's figure, let's find how long it takes to get to 10,000. All right. So we've got a standard equation to work with that the population after t time equals a starting population times e to the rt. And given these constraints, we know we reach 120. We don't know where we started, um, but we know what happened after one, uh, one hour. And we know that we reached 1,200 after, what was that, five hours. So I'm just plugging it in. This is the population I'm at. This is the starting population. This is the final at, at a certain time at t. R is the rate and t is the time. OK, so this is useful because we can say, all right, well, the ratio here is 1,200 to 120. And that's the same as the ratio of these two equations, e to the r times 5. And what's beautiful about that is when we divide, we realize, oh, the starting population is irrelevant. Those divide to, to 1. And on the left-hand side here, we get 10. And that equals e to the 4r, because I just subtracted those exponents. I subtracted r times 5 and r times 1. Take the natural log of both sides. I get the natural log of 10 equals 4r divided by 4. Natural log is of 1 fourth. The natural log of 10 equals r, which is the same thing as saying the natural log of 10 to the 1 fourth, or the fourth root of 10. The natural log of the fourth root of 10 is r. Notice that we're asked not to round. So let's just say we'll call this value a. This will be our a value. And that's convenient because we'll use it in the graphing calculator. And we can use that to find the starting population, like how many bacteria were there at the beginning. We know there were 120 after an hour, so e to the, remember r, t, but r we're saying is a, and that's after one hour. So that just means that uh, n sub 0, the starting population, is 120 divided by e to the a, right? We don't need that 1 there. And that's our starting population. Now, I'm, I'm not going to calculate that just yet. I'm going to hold on to it. We'll call this value b, right? That's our starting population. If we want to find when we're going to reach 10,000, we can write that equation as 10,000 equals the starting population b, that's this thing over here, times e to the rt. So e to the rt, but r is a. We, we just called r a, which is the fourth natural log of the fourth root of 10. And we're finding how much time that takes. So start by isolating the e term and divide both sides by b. You get this equals e to the at. Take the natural log of both sides. And now we're getting somewhere. I'll, put, I'll write 10 to the third over b. That's 10,000. And no, it's not. 10 to the third is 1,000. 10 to the fourth is 10,000. And that equals a times t. We want to know what t equals, right? So divide both sides by a. So 1 over a times the natural log of 10 to the fourth over b. And you can use the laws of logarithms to say the natural log of 10 to the fourth over b to the 1 over a power, that equals t. I just brought this little coefficient up. Now, we can do this on the calculator. And this is where this is why I'm using all these letters. Because on the calculator, we can store certain things. So when I say that r equals the natural log of the fourth root of 10, I can just write natural log of 10 to the 1 fourth, or 0.25. Hit Enter. I get that long decimal, but I, I don't want to keep writing it out. So I hit Store, and I store it as A. Now, I can store it as any letter I want, but A and B are right, in the, right up top by the alpha button. So it's nice and easy. Then I could take 120 and divide it by, right, I want to figure this out now. 120 divided by second natural log, so e to the power of a. And there it is. That's our starting population. OK, so store that again. Press store as b. Enter. And now we're in a position to essentially oops, do this and figure it out. 
So it's the natural log of 10 to the fourth. Let's do it this way though. Parentheses again, 10 to the fourth, because I want to raise the whole fraction, 10 to the fourth over b. I want to raise that to the fourth. That's not correct. Okay, divide that 10 to the fourth by b, and then raise that to the one over a. So I'll put one over a in parentheses. Boom, I think that's right. This is definitely wrong. How do I know that? Because, oh wait, no, no, it's okay. I thought I was, I got confused. That's not a population number, that's a time number, right? Uh, the 67 before that was a starting population. So, but this was a time we were calculating. So it was about 8.683 uh, hours. So that's it. Hope you enjoy.